Yo, what's up, guys? It's Andrew from ProducerSociety.com. Today, I'm talking to you about Celimony's, uh, uh Melodyne plugin. Um, so I just started using this recently when I was looking for a pitch correction and auto-tune software that's a little more sophisticated and a little more specific than GarageBand's auto-tune plugin. And uh, so I've just been using this one lately, and I got to say, it's, it's pretty sick. Um, I'm not going to run through everything this, this plugin can do yet. Um, I'm still new to the software, but I am going to show you three different things today that the Melodyne plugin does that GarageBand's AutoTune does not. And um, this is kind of meant to illustrate just how great this thing is. Um, the, the, the three things that I've noticed so far that are really good about it is that it does the following. It, it allows you to adjust the amount of vibrato within the notes down to an incredibly specific level. You can adjust ex the exact pitch of each note specifically, and you can do pitch and time quantize as well. And you're doing this with audio too. You're not doing it with, with uh, uh, MIDI notes. Now you can do that with GarageBand. You can do uh, time and, and time quantizing with uh, GarageBand, of course, and you can do it with uh, the Flex too, where you do it with the audio. However, the, the level of detail that you can do it with Melodyne, it makes it a lot, uh, frankly, a lot better. Like it's, it's, really, it's really cool what this thing can do. Um, so, you know, in terms of what I have to say about this, I'd say that this is easily probably the best um, audio pitch correction software and auto-tune plugin that you could use for GarageBand. Not all of them are compatible with GarageBand from what I understand. Uh, from what I understand, Waves, for instance, you can't, you can't use with GarageBand. There's a few others, I think, that are very popular that you also can't use with GarageBand. But um, this thing is dope. So I'm just going to show you a few things that it can do today. So in addition to opening up it opening it up in its own separate software, you can use it as an individual track plugin. So as you can see here, I have the plugin set up right here. And so this is what it looks like. So th here, this is the interface of it. And it, this is how you adjust things. Um, so right off the bat, I have to say that what's really cool about it is that you can actually like move these notes around. You can move these notes around by going like that. And the amazing thing about it, the amazing thing about it is that you can move the note to a different note along the side of the key here. You can move the blob along to a different note, and it actually doesn't. It does it. It does it in such a way where it's not losing the human quality. Like it doesn't sound like it's being auto tuned. It doesn't sound like that robotic sound. By the way, I got a present for you. Go to producersociety.com slash free mixing cheat sheet. That'll put you on my list to get a free mixing cheat sheet. And I send all kinds of cool tips and stuff that I don't share anywhere else. You can also join my forum at forum.producersociety.com. Um, for now, it's totally free to sign up, but uh, in the future, I'll probably lock it down and then turn it into a full course platform. Now, however, it does kind of sound like that when you click on it like this. But when you play it in context of the music, it kind of gets rid of that, that, that robotic sound to it. So it's really pretty amazing. Um, and the next thing that you can do is that you can, you can actually adjust the vibrato of the note. So for instance, you go down here, the pitch tool right here, pitch modulation, and you can see that these lines, right? This is indicating the, the, the pitch and how in, it's called the pitch drift. So it's like the, the level of, the level of fluctuation in the singer's voice. So you can adjust it like that and you can straighten it out. So this is the, like that's showing that it's going, uh, <laughs> right? Um, but when you go like that, it's gonna, it's gonna actually pull the, the vibrato out of the note. And it, it's really cool, man. Like you can, it's very specific in terms of what it can do. Um, so I've really enjoyed using it on that level uh, thus far. And the next thing that you can do, of course, is that you can uh, you can use like the, the pitch correction in the same way that you would with GarageBand. So you go to quantization macro, correct pitch, and then you can actually adjust the level of pitch. So it, it detects the key signature right away. It isn't always correct, but it's pretty good at, at getting it right. Um, so you just go snap to G minor, and then you can pull you can see the way it's pulling all these notes exactly to G, to G minor, which is really dope. It's super cool. And then also you can do the same thing with the pitch drift where you actually adjust the pitch within the note, or excuse me, the, the vibrato in the note. So this it's extremely useful. 
With that said, my main criticism of this software so far is that it's a little complicated to learn how to use. Like I've been using it now for a couple weeks and um, it's it, it takes some work to figure it out. Um, it's not the most difficult thing in the world. It's it's not overly sophisticated, but it is kind of like you're going to have to, you know, you look things up on YouTube and Google some things every once in a while. But with that said, now that I have this software, um, I'm going to be uploading a lot more videos on how to use this thing. So I'm sure you can come back to this channel um, if you want to find out more about how to use it. But anyway, so far, I'd say this thing is incredibly useful. Um, anyway, yeah. So... Yeah, so I recommend you check out my article too. I, I run through all of the things that it does. Not all of them, but I run through a really pretty, a fairly comprehensive uh, view on what this thing is capable of doing. Um, it's definitely worth checking out. And I also have the, the comparisons between the different kind of packages that you can get when you buy it. So for instance, you can get, uh, you can get Essential Assistant Editor and Studio. Studio is the most expensive, Essential is the least expensive. Um, I would recommend getting either the assistant or the studio um, because the reason for that is that assistant is kind of like a trade-off, like you're getting all of the features that they all get. However, you're missing on the polyphonic detection, um, but it's it's the least expensive in terms of what, uh, it's the least expensive for the most amount of value. Um, however, if you do have the money to burn, I recommend getting the studio because the studio is obviously going to be far superior. Um, that's what I'm using right now. I'm using the studio. But anyway, you can see the the, the the charts I have here that I took from Melodyne's website. I asked them for permission to use it and they said it was cool. But anyway, yeah, you can see the price of them here. So I recommend checking it out. Uh, uh, at some point, I'm going to have a link to Musician's Friend where you can pick it up or um, yeah, or from another place. But anyway, yeah, like this is... Uh, it's a very good plugin and it's it's definitely worth checking out. Either get the assistant or the studio and you know it's it's really going to help you out in terms of adjusting the vocals because of the specificity of it. You know, it's going to really allow you to make uh, very detailed changes in in your vocals, which is pretty sick. Um, with that said, before I before I finish this this uh, this uh, video, I'm just going to show you how to actually get get the 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 music into Melodyne. So what you have to do is you actually have to like you print it in, so to speak. So you go like this. Um, so you uh, you hit transfer this button right here, go like that, and then you play it. So that's how you do it. Um, you, you just hit transfer and you print it in and that's gonna get you started. But anyway, this is just like a, a brief introduction into this plugin. And um, you know, I, I think it's really worth, worth uh, I think it's really worth getting. Um, but anyway, that's all for now. Um, I'll see you in the next video. All right, peace.